brotherhood or sisterhood. It's not just personhood. It's not just all about, you know, it, and then, of course, it is, it is to some extent about coming together with only your brothers or coming together with your sisters, whoever they are, and having that conversation with them. Then it is about having that conversation with people across the board, race and sex and things like that, and being able to sort of engage in that particular perspective as well. So it's a big deal. So think about those particular, those particular people in your lives um, who sort of uh, can play that role and um, sort of try to nurture that. That's, that's community, uh, that's family, that's building. So uh, it's very important. Is there anything else? Yes, ma'am. Um, do you think that society has black men um, thinking that everyone wants them? Because, I mean, I know people can tell them that you, you head of a prison and you don't take care of your kids and stuff, but when it comes to the, the sex part, it's like, it seems like they're looked at as Mandingo. <laughs> that goes back to, that's that LF clip I showed. That's that sexual black male identity. Um, I mean, that's a historical thing. That's what it was saying. That's part of, it's been like that in literature, in movies, and things like that. And, you know, um, I think that's, it, of course, it's problematic. I don't know how many ways it, can have, it has an effect on black males. I think it, in a way it creates privilege. It makes us think that we're in a certain, a certain status, a certain position. You know, some black men are taking advantage of their positions or whatever. You know, <laughs> you know they sort of doing their own thing or whatever. You know, when you abuse 